Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and this is the second bonus video and the second last video of this course itself. Okay. Now in this video we are going to replace our translator feature with Google's Translate API and as you can see it is a free and unlimited source. Now first thing a disclaimer uh, this package is made for an educational purpose because it is kind of scrapping the Google Translate website or indirectly scrapping the Google Translate API to get the response so it can be a bit unreliable but for an educational purpose or a project wise it can be a good source so we are going to use this package translate plus and you can simply search on google to get the package but you will realize you will not get this package directly so actually i searched it on pub devs and i got this package now when you click on this package now you will see it is published somewhat around five months ago and this is the current version so as you go down you will see an example of how to use this package so this package requires creating an instance of google translator then you need to provide that instance string that you want to translate and you have to specify from language and to language okay but those country codes are required here or short codes and if you don't know from language then you can simply pass to language and it will work so we are gonna use it so simply just copy this package and open your VS code so as you can see I have already imported the package for Google language translate and simply this package okay now how to use this package so as you can see here we just need to create an instance of Google translator and then we can just call this translate function so I will just copy this code snippets from here and I will just move to our codes now I have opened three files one is API another is our translate controller and finally translator feature now in this api i have created a function called as google translate and in which i am expecting three parameters that is from language to language and a text and it is an asynchronous function and it is returning a string at the end of the call and if any error occurs it simply returns something went wrong okay and here simply i will paste those codes and now I just want to change the name of the function or the log of the function so I prefer writing log like this the name of the function and then e for error now I just need to import this Google Translate so as you can see the package is imported so simply like this and instead of this input I can simply write the text feed that we got from here and instead of this from I can just pass from and instead of this to uh, to and I can remove this then from here okay because we don't require it and I can store this result simply like this final and response and is equals to and I can write a await keyword here because it will take some time to execute and simply control save now I can just copy this google translator from here and I can just call it here directly rather than creating an instance of it and here I can just return the response so response dot and you may see we are getting four options one is source language that is from language target that is to source which means what we have sent and text means the result so we are interested in the result so I'm just uh, returning the result so we are doing an API call and we are getting the response and we are returning it so now moving to our language part and you may see I have written some codes here in this green portion so first is just uh, I have created a function called is Google Translate okay this function is just an extension of this function we have already created a function named translate in which we are checking some conditions we are setting the loading status to loading then we are setting to complete and in between we are doing that API call to get the response similarly I have simply created this function to save some time and simply here we just need to call that API and get the response and send it to this result controller now so the issue is actually we are having a list of languages in form of strings but we require the short codes of the language list 
so how we can get this short code of the language so actually what i did is i just simply went to this repository github and simply the repository of this translator plus and simply inside translator plus inside lib src langs i just found out this language dot dat in which uh, the author has already written the list of languages in which he has provided all the lists here okay like auto for out automatic af for afran so we are having those short codes here as well as we are having the full name so actually i will use this list and actually i require this name to be in form of a key and this has to be value which means i want all these full forms on the left side and these short forms on the right side so actually with the help of chat gpt i have already converted those so what i will do is for now i will just comment this language list here because we are not gonna use this list form now and as i move below uh, you may see i have created something called as json lang in which i have written the full names on the left and short names on the right now we are gonna use this json language but you may see we may got some errors in the widgets and this language sheet so the problem with this is actually we have created a list and from that language list we were showing those items but we have commented that so what we will do is uh, we will simply create a, another language list here simply final and lang and it will contain all the keys of this json lang so how we can do is we can simply write it like this lang and i can use this json lang dot keys uh, dot to list and you may see there is an error here that the instance member json lang can't be init accessed in an initializer which means what happens is these both variables are created at the same time due to which we can't assign the value of one variable to another uh, we can simply solve this problem by writing a late keyword here which means this can be initialized late so this one will be first executed after that this late executes and the variables will be created okay now we can simply use that lang and you will see our error has already gone from the language sheet okay because lang is available there now uh, we just need to go to our translate feature and instead of this translate i just want to use google translate that we just created now so what i will do is i will write google translate and remove this parenthesis and after that moving to our translate controller actually we need to give functionality to it so simply above we just need to call that api so simply here i can write await and simply apis dot and simply google translate and simply a from so we can write from dot value but what we need to send is we need to send this short code so what we can do is uh, we can use it like this json lang and inside this i can simply write that keyword so for example if i write this arabic inside this keyword uh, you will see i get the value for this ar so similarly if i just write from dot value here i will automatically get the short code of that language but there is still an error because there are chances the key we pass there are no value for that key so how do we handle that case in that case i just simply want to return an auto auto means automatic and i have commented this auto because i don't want to show it inside our list and same for the two language so i can write json lang and inside this two dot value and simply here uh, instead of the text we can write text controller dot text and i need to give a default value for the two itself so simply en for english so default language will be english so this is our api call and getting response from it now we just need to test our application so we need to wait a little till my application is running so as you can see my application is up and running now if i move to language translator and i think we have already used google translator here okay so google translate now instead of this auto let it be auto for now and instead of this too i am just writing something like hindi 
and now if I just select Hindi you will see Hindi selected now if I just try to translate something here like hello and I just click on this translate so this time Google translate will be running and you will see we have got a response named Namaste and you can see an error here because I think my old chat GPT key is expired so due to Google translate we haven't got any issue because we are using alternative of it and for now I just select all and just I am copying this text from here and after that I am just swapping the language so for now let me click on this auto and let's say Spanish and simply this one now I am just switching the languages and now instead of this hello I will just paste namaste here and now if I click on this translate you will see the translation has started and simply changed to hola which means this multi-language translator is working fine even with this Google Translate API work. So that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.